What up, what up, what up, people? This is your boy, Tyler the Libra, a.k.a. Tyler Hendricks, a.k.a. TTL, and we are back. We, we're doing back-to-back -back this time. I two, know. Two, two, nigga, two. We, we getting consistent with y'all. Just, just wait on, just wait on, you know? And um, so, y'all already know me. Here's my guest. I mean, my guest. Wow. Uh, <laughs> my co-host, my co-host, the ever-so-talented... Mr. B. Hurt. Oh, okay. I mean, you, you, you started out terrible, but you, I know, I said you redeemed yourself. My fault. You, you, my you, fault. you redeemed yourself. My fault, people. My fault. What up, everybody? It's your boy B. Hurt, a.k.a. Prince, a.k.a. Brian, a.k.a. Prince Vegeta. Without the hating, episode 21. I and said Prince Vegeta. Hey, without the hating, though, there's, there's a fine line. There's a difference. Because Prince, bro, this is a great segue. But Prince Vegeta, bro, Vegeta, don't act like Vegeta don't give you hype. Vegeta make you want to be the coldest person possible. Like, he always trained. All he think about training. He had Bulma's, uh, you know, he had Bulma's birthday party. He's like, nah, I need to train. Why am I here? I need to train. He just always train. Oh, shout out to R.I.P. to Bulma's Japanese. No, I think English voice actor. She passed away this week. So, R.I.P. to Oh, really? Yeah, R.I.P. to Bulma. It was, it was either Japan or... Uh, uh, American uh, voice actor. So she passed this week. So I repeated her. But you know, about the whole Vegeta thing, you know, when you think about it, he really does have the most, you know, character development as far as anybody on the fucking show goes. I mean, That's facts. Because this nigga just started out hating. <laughs> oh, he was the biggest hater. <laughs> was, like you couldn't tell this nigga shit. Like, oh, oh fuck! Like if I was Vegeta, you remember? Like, uh, I would have to pull up. Like if I was Goku, you remember? Uh, was it? Was it Chappelle show and they had the hater hater awards? Yeah, <laughs> Vegeta be like the five time yeah. rated oh, yeah. hater yeah. awards. This nigga would got like five years. Of the <laughs> like I this nigga been, boy, like he was the biggest hater. I mean, he's still a hater, but he he low key now. He he, yeah. he like any other friend that be hating on you. That you know, like they just they throw some jabs at you and uh, they just you know keep it kicking. Like Vegeta, like when you th when you think about how Vegeta was hate, like the level of that this man ha had for this nigga Goku, like and Goku it was chilling. He was like Goku was like nigga, this just happened. <laughs> like, I'm like, like he was just first Super Saiyan, and he was like this nigga boy. Then he had to go Super Saiyan three, and he was like, what the fuck? <laughs> then this nigga out. Of then then if it wasn't enough, this nigga had to go Super Saiyan four first, and then he went God. That's true. I don't. I don't know if that. I don't know if like. He actually chronolog chronologically, I might be wrong on that. Actually, he went uh, ultra first too in yeah. the super. I haven't watched a lot of super, but I've watched some of it, and then like I just know from Twitter and all the people. I like call. everything that this nigga Goku did has just been like manifest, manif manifested into like this just. This nigga that Vegeta just wants to be like. <laughs> I feel like there's gotta be a balance because it's like, uh, Goku is more calm and cool and collected, and he's just he's just worried about the moment. So like, that's the balance of he can probably control it at first. Vegeta just got too much hate in his heart. He wouldn't be too powerful. I feel like if he's too powerful. Oh, and by the way, this nigga's son. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's he's super, super, like, super fast. Super fast. Like, like, Vegeta was ready to throw hands. Oh, to you're gonna you're gonna hate this. I don't know the girl's name. I don't watch Super like that, but I forgot her name too. But but there's a girl on Super who, who's a Saiyan. You know she uh she turns Super Saiyan because like you ever get like that cold tingle in your back and yeah, you like yeah I saw that shit I was yeah like, I was like really I, I was like y'all got this lazy oh and then there's this one shout out to my homie uh Jay the Reaper eighteen shout out to you dog if you listen to this. This man told me the funniest roast ever. So they're and super they're in this like tournament where it's like the worlds are all fighting or whatever and it's like team of ten, team of ten, team of ten. Yeah. And then so Jiren, I don't know if you know who he is. He's cold, he's raw. This dude uh beat up Goku and then Vegeta was like, nah, I'm trying to fight Jiren. And then the <laughs> second in command for uh, Jiren's team was like, nah, you fight me. And then Vegeta was like, No, I'm not fighting the second person in command. And then uh the the second person for Jaren was like, ain't you the second in command? <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> they, had that super, they, had, they had that super hot fire in the background. Oh! <laughs> oh I was God. like, this man's the second fiddle. I mean, that that's crazy to think. And then go, this nigga Gohan was supposed to be just, 
just like the best. He was supposed to be the prodigy. He was supposed to be Goku's son, nigga. You going? Hey, that's still my dog, bro. That's still my dog. Who? He was a smart one. Go on. Bro, I think he's my favorite. He he's probably my favorite Dragon Ball Z character. Except I didn't really, yeah. I didn't like I said like when I watched Dragon Ball Z, I watched it on Toonami, so everything was skipped for me. So I never watched it full, like flat out, like everybody else. And then what made it so bad about that is uh, I ain't know nothing about Future Gohan. And everybody's like, yeah, Future Gohan ain't got I got a disease. Got an arm? Yeah, androids tore his ass up. They, 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 nigga, we severing something. <laughs> like, we, we ain't gonna get both you niggas, but we severing, like, one of y'all gonna lose something. Bruh, they're... They end up losing an arm. I think, I think it's in Xenoverse 2. And then, oh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z comes out in January. I'm getting that. Oh, but, yeah, I might have caught that. But, uh, I think it was the second. It was, yeah, it was Universe 2. And Future Gohan has his arm. He has both arms. But, like, he still moved like he got one arm. It's weird how they <laughs> did it. Like, I, it's kind of petty. But, uh, yeah, uh, like we said and introduced to this podcast before, I mean, we've, this is our second week in a row. Hopefully, we, I don't think we ever hit three. We never did three before. We definitely got to hit three. We don't have to hit three next week. We have to hit we three. We have to hit three. But how was your week? Uh, what was the week like for you? Shit, it was, I don't know. This week actually went by pretty fast, and I'm, I'm hoping shit will go by even faster. I got that, you know, I got that, you know, four day weekend, you know, for Thanksgiving, and, you know. I don't think I get that since I'm technically in the mall. Yeah, DZ cares about us a little bit. They gave us like a four a four day weekend. I hated DZ. That's yeah, nice. That's nice of them for you to go. Are you going Black Friday shopping? Or? I don't even know. I don't, like every single year that I go, I just like find it a little bit, you know, unnecessary to you know do all that. I'm a I, I'm an online nigga, so like Facts. most of the shit that ain't even in stores that I really fuck with or I already have. So I'm just look right. online, see what I get from there, you know. And I don't mind the wait. You know, so I rather just I rather just like Friday have Monday. I rather just have what I wanted right then and there, and I'll and it's worth the wait for me instead of just going to the store and not finding like what I want or just the size that they don't have. True, so. true, true. I uh, my week was cool. Uh, not a whole lot happened. Finally watched Spider Man. I know everybody like nigga that came out in July. Which <laughs> <laughs> I never got around to it, bro. It's like I gotta be. Because, look, don't judge me, but allegedly I watch my movies a different way than going into the theaters. I'm going to just say allegedly. But, because I don't have a date. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't have dates, so I don't be going to the movies. Why am I going to go? I'm not going to go to the movie by myself. That just looked weird. But, yeah, I finally watched Spider-Man. That was amazing, by the way. Oh, my God. I, I There's something, if I get a camera, there's some, you might see some Marvel-esque, DCS, superhero type of story, videography projects. On the channel. I don't want to say too much because I don't want people to steal my ideas. But I, I do like stuff like that. And I actually want to start creating stuff like that. But yeah, I finally watched that. I still need to watch the Chris Brown documentary. I still need to watch the Demi Lovato. Is that on Netflix? I, I think the Chris, Brown, the Chris Brown one is definitely on Netflix. I know I passed De- it last night. Demi is on a, a YouTube. And freaking Mindhunter. There's a show called Mindhunter. How the... The police officers, or how FBI, whatever, go about determining how, like, what makes a serial killer and things like that. It's supposed to be really fascinating, really dope on Netflix. So I need, actually, I need to get a Netflix account. I need to touch them on my old dips. Let me see if they let me borrow their Netflix account. Because I want to watch those. Uh, you ain't about to pay the ten dollars a month that's about to come up. Bro, I ain't got ten dollars. <laughs> like, no. If you rob me, you they sent me this. They sent me this at like seven o'clock in the morning saying Netflix is changing to ten ninety nine a month. I'm like, whoa, wait, like, oh, <laughs> like, oh, oh, like I ain't got time to set this in yet. Like, what? Like, y'all just gonna make these decisions by yourself? Y'all ain't even gonna, like, you know, ask somebody. Ask about somebody this? like, maybe we, maybe we ain't got it like that, man. Well, but yeah, I want to watch those three things. I want to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I want to watch Punisher. Uh, what else? I want to catch up on my superhero shows. I just gotta catch up on a lot of my shows because it's hard watching shows because I I see people like recommend me Stranger Things and and. I Big highly mouth. Re- I highly recommend Stranger Things. I, I just got done finishing season two right now. And See, I haven't watched season one yet, but like, there's not there's not enough time in the day to watch all these shows. I don't know. I gotta have a dip. I feel like Stranger Things isn't that scary? Isn't that scary? It's scary, but at the same time, 
I don't know. It's it's a mixture of like scary and drama and stuff like that. See, I gotta watch that with a dip, yo. I can't watch that by myself. You, I, I, you always watch you always watch scary stuff with a female. I don't know. Or a significant other, whatever. Because I watched that whole jump by myself, so I mean. I mean, but then again, see, that's the only problem is like, uh, like take. That's that's my problem with a lot of shows, and this is kind of off comparison, but this is the point I'm trying to make. Like take Dragon Ball, right? Super in English, I can watch fine, because I, I, like I be blinking and shit. Like you know what I'm saying? You got to blink sometimes. You turn your head sometimes. You want to close your eyes for a second. But if I watch Super, uh, like Japan, I gotta focus. And I feel like a lot of the shows I want to really watch and sit down and like movies and things of that nature, I really gotta sit there and focus. And I feel like I'll just be tired all the time when I'm watching stuff. So that's why. That's why I. Uh, Freaking haven't watched. That's why it took so long to watch Spider Man, even though that sh- was so good. I don't know. Maybe I just got to find me a boo and then take her Netflix account and then just been and watch everything. Because it's a holiday season, too. The fact that you said that you need to get you a boo just off the simple fact of the Netflix, that's crazy. That's hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, wild, hey. Man. Over here, there's boos out here who's paying dudes' car notes, paying their rent. Paying for their food. I'm just trying to find one of those. Like, I mean, I, I, yo, nigga, I, I mean, I can yo. take, I, 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 I know I can take care of myself, but I'm just saying it makes it a little bit easier, you know, for, you know. Yo, I'm saying, I just, just look, <laughs> I just probably need you, look, 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 this is how it's going to be. You spoil me, look, for my future boo out there, if you listen to this, you spoil me till about January, February. Then I get my income tax back, and I'm a tax season baller for you. Bam. Look, it's fair. It's fair. Just take care of me now. Get me out of my situation, and then I'll take care of you then. Now, this is an interesting topic. I think we're just going to talk about it in general. And I feel like with the shirt that this person... Actually, it's a sweatshirt. Let me stand correct. Oh, don't worry. I got the, I, I got the long sleeve in the room. Oh, you got the long sleeve, too. No, no. We're talking about fashion here, and uh, Tyler is a big ball, big ball of brand. Three Bs. Even though y'all just took an L, probably, B's, in, your, in your stock. How? Because of Leandro, or whatever his name is. Listen, Leandro, he, 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 he damn near excluded himself from, <laughs> from ever getting this shoe. Bro, he just became... It's bogus because he got he actually got hurt, but he just became yeah. Cooper Manning. Like he, he just be, <laughs> he just became the relevant brother that like they got a brother, <laughs> but they don't know about. Oh shit! I'm, he's like the, you, he, so he's like the other sharp brother, huh? Oh, there's another sharp brother too. Oh, <laughs> dude, I didn't know that. I should have. Wow. <laughs> wow. Because well, there's yeah. Sterling, yeah, and then Shannon, and then yeah, that's Sterling. No Shane Sterling. Played. He I played for the Green Bay Packers, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, Sterling. See, nobody cares about Sterling. But, um, Sterling's cool. He had a Super Bowl ring. He played with Brady. So, he so, played with your boy. So, so does Shannon, though. He played with your boy. Shannon got a couple. But he played I with think, you. Uh, does Shannon have two? Does uh, Shannon have two? Uh, yeah, because he, he played with Denver. He played with, he might have three. Yeah, he has three, I think. For Baltimore? No, because he has one with Baltimore and then two with Denver. Oh, huh. Because Elway got two. But, yeah, anyway, Shannon, the better brother. But, um... But Sterling got a ring, and he played with your favorite player. That is true. That is true, but... Ain't nobody care about Sterling. But, um... Uh, <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, man, I had to support the big baller brand movement. You know, for us. You know, because... You know, I, I... All through the years, I've had expensive tastes. Like, I always rock with what was good. You know, like, it's not the, it's not really more the fact that it's expensive, it's the so, fact wait, wait, wait. that it okay. looks good and I rock with so it. So, Tyler has a, a Triple B sweatshirt on right now, and I think, is that pink on it's it? Big baller brand, yep. Is that, that's clean, I like that, I, I, I rock I'm with that. I'm telling you, you need to fuck with it, it's $65, right now. $65.99 USD. I mean, that's not bad, because he was over, so he's, he's, well, Tax how much? is like 67 So, how much was the Plus sweatshirt? Plus shipping and handling. Or how much was the long sleeve? Uh, long sleeve, I, I think it was about, it had to be at least, probably, the same, about 50. No, I can't be the same, you can have a sweatshirt and a long sleeve, because I'm team long sleeve out here, if you don't know, this is funny, it's funny that Tyler brings it up, so he bought a sweatshirt for, uh, you know, $65, whatever. I bought this long sleeve for about four ninety nine. Is that a Kyrie shirt? It's a Kyrie shirt. Tripping, tripping. I, well, I'm a Celtics fan, and the Celtics are on a 15-game winning streak. Uh, what what are the Knicks doing? 
giving up 23 point leads to the That Cleveland. was an hell. I'm not going to lie. Like, yeah. I'm sorry. But uh, we, we just got to get tape tripping. But, yeah, I bought this for four ninety nine. I got expensive tape, too. I'm just in a hard time. This whole year has been hell for me. So, I'm just not going to ball out when I ain't got it. But, I mean, when I do got it, you know what I'm saying? I, I like spending it. Okay, so, is that your favorite brand? I wouldn't say it's my favorite brand. I mean, but, like, it's something that I'll definitely get again. Apart from them taking, like, at least a good four weeks, damn near a month to uh, ship over here. Yeah, that, that was kind of food. <laughs> like, I, I emailed these niggas. I was like, yo, it's my, it's my like, yo. I'm like, like, yo, I mean, can I, do I got to talk to LeVar? Like, no, oh, like, what's up, oh, my nigga? Like, I'm trying to be fresh. <laughs> like, and then, like, I sent that probably at October 19th. I put the order in October 5th. So yeah. when did you actually get it? I got, like, at least, nigga. <laughs> it had to have been, like, November 5th. Triple B tripping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big ball break. <laughs> triple, triple B's music. <laughs> I need to stop playing with that shit. But, um, I mean, as far as it being my favorite brand, I mean, I'd say, like, I get it again. But, actually. So, what's your favorite? Like, well, who are you wearing? Always? Like, just just today. Like, just any day or just, like, as far yeah. as, like, gym or, like, casual. Work. Or just, like, a, if, you, if you could have any brand of clothing. Always and forever. Who you who you rocking with? I think I I think I know my answer. So, uh, that's hard to say because I want half half of me want to say OVO. That's not a bad selection. Or or then half of me want to just say you know I'm chilling with you know some Nike joggers right now. I got a big baller brand <laughs> hoodie with some Nike joggers and then some Converse on right now. Converse is kind of the one to throw you off for a loop. You just like, nigga, what? Like, yeah. <laughs> I uh, if I had to pick a brand that I would rock with like that, are we? Uh, but are we saying like casually, like? I mean, because we could say like you know something to get fresh in, like American Eagle or Pax and some some of that nature. But Pax I mean, is not really a brand though. Yeah, because they're like an outlet. I want to say more or less. Okay, then I'll, we'll do a casual one and we'll do a street one, and then I say my casual one is without question Champion. Champion got some of them. Toughest merch. Champion be having the basic shit, but it be looking raw, right? But that's why it's tough. Yeah. It'd be casual. It'd be comfortable. I'm saying about getting me a couple of champions. Like, they got a couple of jackets, too. And they do collabs all the time. They do collab with Bape. They did a collab with Supreme. I don't fuck with Bape. Maybe Supreme. Why not? Bape quote? No, I don't know about all that. I would mess with Bape if they lowered them goddamn prices. Them and Big Baller Brand be yeah, fucking yeah. tripping. <laughs> Excuse my French. I don't. I didn't mean it. See, I mean, see, see that's how French. Yo, yo, yo well, I'm, I'm. Me and Brian got into this conversation before the podcast. Like, as soon as you, as soon as you, you gonna see a nigga's true colors and what his real identity is. As soon as you, he, as soon as you tell him a price that they did not initially think of, like, like no, just I'm right just... there, Brian had a nigga moment. Like, this nigga said, yeah, they need, to, they need to stop with them fucking prices, like. Mm-hmm. Right? I mean, he got just, legit mad. Just, just, that's how I be. Because I be broke. I mean, we're out my price range. As soon as you're out my price range, I got to tell you about this. Stuff. Uh, and Supreme's cool, too. I like that. Supreme, Balone, Undefeated. There's so many dope brands. And it's just like, yo, I'm about a six or a seven. Let me rock that. Let me let me do some uh, some modeling stuff for you. Because I think the models get it or something like that. I've heard yeah. something crazy like that. Like, you model the stuff you get. I was like, what? I was like, yeah, let me hold that. What about you, casual? What do you uh, got casual? casual. <clears throat> Fuck. I'm going to rock with probably, probably American Eagle, honestly, for casual. Because, like, the things that, what? That's not casual. How is that not casual? It's like, I meant casual like I meant comfy. Comfy. Like, that's why I said champions. So, American Eagle's comfy. But that's like jeans and stuff like that. That's... Yeah, they sell more than jeans, bro. You but I get sweats. what you're saying. Uh, yeah, because right, right. then what are you going to say for streetwear? As... That's what I meant. Like, streetwear, oh, okay. I meant like... I, I feel you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, probably casual, I'd have to just go with Nike. Like, I've been... I've I probably been wearing Nike ever since I was literally... At, no, I'm not going to say that. I've been wearing... Because <laughs> I think from the time I was probably like one to... Five, for some strange reason, I was dressed in Tommy, so I think that's why my love for Tommy always comes into you know flourishing sometimes. But as far as like just casual nowadays, 
Yeah, I'm rocking with Nike. But I like how I like where everything's at nowadays because it seems like uh, I want to say Adidas stepped their their game up. I want to say Under Armour stepped their game up, and I feel like you could actually rock more of that stuff. But like more of the stuff casually now, and it actually looks good and something like Under that. Under Armour's just so tight. I mean, yeah, it's true. Think about it. I don't it. remember football when we were fucking everybody. Because think, like, un- think about it, bro. You would have a Nike thermal on, and niggas would come up to you. Oh, he got Under Armour on, bro. It's a Nike <laughs> thermal. That's just that's that's how Under Armour got their start. Is was the the tight like, question. Listen, listen, I'm gonna tell you like this. I remember back in football 2011. This nigga, you know, you know how me and Brian got your fresh for a season, even though we didn't play that much. You know, we, you know, we, you know, we was chilling, but. But, uh, I played the, no, I didn't play. No, I didn't play. <laughs> well, you know, right. so I should have played. That I mean, year. we gotta look fresh on the sidelines. I should have played that like, year. Like, if we ain't gonna be in the game, that's for sure. We gonna be the best dressed niggas on the sideline. No, I like so, my coaching. I like. I like so, my coach and everything, but like I should have played that year. Like I got, I'm like, yo, my coach. If I see you, I got to holler at you. Not, uh, no, I mean, I not know, on some beef, man. I, I mean, was, ain't gonna drop names, but I don't think you gonna do that with him. With who? <laughs> boy, I will end. This will be the last episode of the podcast. Don't try me. Anyway, don't like, try me. Anyway, on this like, you don't try me. Like Stone Cold Steve Austin. But uh, <laughs> finna get started. Nigga. But uh, They're not. That'd be yeah, trash. I mean, anyway, be trash. But that's it. That's his opinion. But That'd um, be anyway, trash. Anyway, what's he doing now? Anyway, trash. I don't know. Is <laughs> he being trash? Right? I don't know. Well, I can, I can, he has his own life. I, but, um, I can line up as a football player now. I'll tell you that. But, um, Trash yeah, player, fucking Brian. You got me on tilt, man. Stop <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, um, let's see. Brian, I think he used to rock. Did you rock Nike or Under Armour? I had Nike. See, I fucked around. Like, it was like my first, it was my first year of football. So, I didn't know. Like the you had Nike, but you had them big ass lining cleats yeah, for Nike. I was like, yeah, "What you uh, doing?" <laughs> yeah, I, I fucked up. But never wore the bitches. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, I, yeah, doing? But like, then I fucked around and had Nike cleats, then had Nike gloves, and then I fucked around and had like Under Armour like a thermal. I don't think that matters that much. I, I mean, don't think it don't because it's under the pads and the jersey and shit. I don't think it matters because of that what our hype. jerseys. Because yeah. our jerseys were uh, Russell. Oh and yeah, they, so, yeah like, they, they ain't the joints now that North has, and the Adidas, them tight joints, like them. True, and then, uh, yeah, that for some reason I remind me of a story. My freshman year, I ain't gonna name the player, but if you was on that team my freshman year, then you know the player. So you know what I'm saying, coach says make sure you pack everything because we don't have bags or nothing like that. So you pretty much have to carry all the stuff. Basically, actually, I think you had to be dressed pretty much for the game. So we get dressed. And this player, he's solid. He's not the most important player, but, uh, you know, he'll play. And my man's forgot his helmet. The one thing he probably need the most in the football game, your helmet. My man's forgot his helmet. <laughs> like, he came to coach. Like, was like, it was like some Friday Night Light stuff. Like, he was like, no, because coach was like, we was in Ames. And coach was like, What's, where's your helmet, son? <laughs> and he's like, I think I forgot it. He's like, fuck, you forgot it. His swag wasn't right that day. That sounds like, who? That sounds like Coach White. Was that White? Yeah, it was. It sounds like some. I shit mean, I didn't want to bring up his name, <laughs> man. You right? <laughs> it was Coach White. Shout out to Coach White. Shout out to him. He probably goes kill me. <laughs> what the hell you cussing, boy? Like, boy, you know. Uh, okay. So that's actually weird that you got that on the head. I didn't know you knew that he was my freshman coach. But streetwear. Streetwear. Yeah. So Nike, Nike for casual, champion for casual. Man, for look, pa- man, look, Paxson. That's like an outlet, though. Paxson and man. Because I, I don't think they'll have. They don't have uh, like their own shit. Do they? Yeah. Like you, you like, get, like Paxson brand stuff. Like Paxson, but well, not Paxson. That's what I'm saying. But I American think. Eagle. I, I said American Eagle too. Like oh. American Eagle, they have their own like, like hoodies, fucking joggers, uh, socks. Undies, hats, watches. I was thinking about giving me a nice little watch from American Eagle, and I was like, no, no, no. Not too many damn beads. How you gonna have a watch? Nigga, I can fit. I, I fit the Apple Watch on this wrist. What all the beads? Uh, bro, look, listen. I had six, like this sixty dollar, 
$5,000 bead bracelet right here. I, plus, I have the Apple Watch. And plus, I have the Nixon on me. I was wearing at least about a good, like, 500 Hey, you just, hey, try me, cuz. <laughs> try me. Man. No. You know, I was flexing on the wrist a little bit, but, you know. Man, you out here wild. But as far as, uh, uh, as far as, like, street goes, yeah, American Eagle. Because they have, they have everything that I like. And it's a shame that I did not find American Eagle at, like, the time that I probably should have. Because niggas was wild in, like, freshman year. I don't know what the fuck I was trying to put together with outfits. I, I probably found American Eagle at least like late 2010, 2011, you know, end of sophomore year. I wish I would have known about this style. Like, the, I, I, I have the style in my head. Then again, I guess it wasn't that popular, so there wasn't a lot of it. And but, you, think, you think about it, it was 2009, 2010. Niggas wasn't. You know, bad, nigga, if you wasn't baggy, you weren't trying, nigga. What the fuck? You wasn't baggy. If boy. you wasn't a new boy. No. Oh, I'm no. talking just just baggy in general. Well, that, yeah, that's... Because uh, that new boy thing was hitting back that's, freshman year. Was it that? Yeah, because, I mean... Coming to the skin. I think it was, like, sophomore year, I want to say. Niggas was colorful. <laughs> back in, yeah. Like, back in freshman year. Niggas yeah. was coming with cheetah print, tre- cheetah print skinny jeans. What else? Fucking... Bro, I... White skinnies. Like, like, niggas was just color. I mean, whatever you're into, you, whatever. I mean, I'm not going to rock it because that's what it was back then, but. I mean, whatever you're into, you're into, but, like, like you did, do you ever see the skit of the, the black guy who is, like, a bigger black guy, and he's talking, and he's like, yeah, I was just, and then I seen little yoga pants come out the studio, yeah. and he's double-cheeked up on <laughs> a Thursday. On Thursday, I'm like, damn, what you doing with all this ass? ass. <laughs> Turn around and see you. I was like, damn, nigga. <laughs> That's pretty much how high school was. Double when... cheeked up on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> when everybody was wearing, like, skinny jeans. I was like, bro, this is weird, bro. You can't yeah, pull up yeah, your pants. Yeah, yeah, you can't. Like, and then niggas have nerve to have a belt on with skinny jeans. And, and sag. then sag. <laughs> what are you trying to do right now? Like, I'm so confused. And then, I, I think he was either all the way baggy or he was all the way skinny. There was no between. Yeah, there was no in between. There was no like slim fit. There was no joggers. There was like I mean, I'm pretty sure that there was like jogger sweatpants back then, but like niggas just wasn't trying to get them. I like more straight, like it, I would it's if it's anything, it's more like regular fit to skinny jeans, like yeah. that middle versus like regular fit to baggy. I don't I don't like baggy. I like I like Nigga, Let me be honest. We I, you remember you remember back in twenty ten. You know, we was, uh, we was trying to be new boys, but uh, uh, that were you with us that time we went to beat ups and we saw all the wrestlers there? Yeah, we saw Roman Reigns, we saw uh, who else? Oh, I'm watching that tonight too, Survivor Series. But I say this because when we saw Roman Reigns, Fam had back muscles in his hoodie. That's how I'm trying to wear my <laughs> shit. I'm trying to wear my shit like that. I'm trying to wear my clothes like that. I saw back muscles in my man's hoodie. He had a hood on. He and then, uh, no, nah, that's not his name. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. brother, name keep. I know. This, that, I think it's Who from. The fuck a, was the thing, it was like Owens. it's from a YouTube video. Yeah, and then right. like Kevin yeah, Owens. he's like, nah, he's too tough. He got a name Keep. Keep on shout out to Wise. <laughs> <laughs> that's where it's from. But uh, yeah, he had back muscles. His back muscles were showing in his hoodie. I'm like, all right, I, I need to wear clothes like that. I'm, that's how I'm trying to be. I'm trying to wear my clothes like that. And, uh, okay, ooh, I got a question for you. Is there a style that you would want to bring back from, like, high school age and stuff like that? Uh, high school age? Like, the shit that we used to wear in high school? Yeah, is there anything you would bring back? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I can think of Because I'm leaving Hot Topic where Hot Topic is. Yeah, you was in that (laughs) moment. for me, boy. Tyler had ever- I, listen, listen. I just bought the jeans. Bro, I had- you remember the white joints? You had the white skinnies, bro. I really did. I still have the joints. <laughs> They're in the closet right now as we speak. I wore them one time this year, though. <laughs> and I'm not even that size anymore. <laughs> them joints was like a 36. I'm a 34 now. And I, uh, I, I, it, it's crazy how I stayed in that same room for like all these years. I mean, we didn't really. So. Nobody really a ball. Yeah. But uh, if if because I was wearing them joints up and I was like, damn, these shit is baggy as hell. <laughs> these ain't even skinny. These like slim. 
Uh, I would probably... Oh, stretchy in American Eagles is the wave to go. So you got to get the stretchy jeans. Those are the wave to go. The stretch American Eagle ones? Mm-hmm. Or you put them on and they can stretch and all that. Oh, that was, I got, that was I, clean. I, yeah, I got the skinny ones. Those was clean. I'm clean. Buy, make more of those American Eagles if you ever hear this. But I, I would. I mean, I already do it now. But probably the jersey joint, like the jersey on oh, yeah, your hoodie. Bring, yeah, I'm trying to bring them, bring them back. I got the with a do rag on or something like that. See, I can't do a do rag because you know I got I, I have long hair. So but it like, elevates your sweat. It elevates your like. Uh, if I ever go back to like having waves, or, yeah, I'm wearing a do rag out in public. Oh yeah, that's, wearing, like, oh yeah, I'm on that. Yeah. That's what we on. But um, as far as like bringing something back, we gonna increase the power level. I'm trying to bring like, I don't know, I'm trying to bring my Tommy days back. Like you gonna catch me in the Tommy Hill figure, at least a good probably seventy five percent of the time if you see me out in public, because that's why I'm about to be all Black Friday. And yes, I am going Black Friday shopping. You catch me at probably. Unless you just said you weren't. Did you say that earlier? There's something about it. You said you don't know. I don't know if I did. I don't know. I was contemplating it, but yeah. I ain't going out. I'm hibernating. Yeah, I know you are. But I gotta tell other people that because <laughs> some people act like it's boy. I went out like two or three times in like the last two or three weeks. No, actually, no, I went out more than that. I probably went out like four or five. The most I probably went out the most I ever went all year, and I'm take I'm hibernating until I get ice. Tell like all right, so we in the Midwest. So when snow comes and then after snow leaves next year, that's when I'll probably start poking my head out and maybe go out once or twice. Maybe never. I ain't got no clothes either. That's why I don't like going out. Oh, that's another tra- transition into what we was talking about er- earlier with, you know, dressing appropriately for the winter. Because last night I went out, boy, downtown on court. And, you know, it was always like you see you see everything on court. Like you see motherfuckers in. I mean, you got enough liquor in your system. You'll be warm. Yeah, you see. Yeah. But, um, motherfuckers was in skirts, heels, uh, fucking just t-shirts. I saw a nigga in a tank top, like, boy, is it not 30 degrees out here? Like, 32 is below freezing. So, girls, it was 30. Girls be troopers. It was 30, 29, like, girls. I don't know. A lot of girls take that Cardi B thing into, you know, effect. Hoes never get cold. <laughs> I feel like, yeah. I feel like I get cold. If I'm, if I'm I, home, I get cold. I get cold. Like <laughs> I had to break. I had to break out the. I had to break out the Yankees varsity jacket last night because it was so cold. And the Tims. Oh, Tims. Oh, Tim. Tims the season. It really is. You know, I, I I did. You know, I did that shout out on Twitter. You know, tell everybody get their Tims ready for the season. Oh yeah, yeah. I saw a tweet or whatever. That was funny. Ah, uh, so musically. Who you listening to? I don't know if we ever talked about music last week. No, nah, I don't think we did. So or we may have, but we can talk about it again. Uh, right now I'm listening to Luke from Dreamville. I like Luke. I like how he brings like, even though he was born in North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina, he has that type of you know that '90s you know rhythm and beat. Kind of like an R and B, hip hop type of you know vibe to him, which I like. It it brings back like a '90s vibe. So, I mean, I'm always listening to Lou and then J Cole. I'm just I'm just listening to all the Dreamville. I, I listen to a, a lot of Dreamville, and then is there anyone you don't listen to from Dreamville? I probably don't listen to um, Cos as much as I would like to, but that's just because. You know, he doesn't, he hasn't really released, I'm still waiting for Kaz to release an album, mixtape or something, nigga. I'm gonna need something from Kaz. But probably him. And... I like Boz, but Boz... I don't know, he probably hasn't released anything that, like, recently. But... I, uh... I guess that's I'm, how you are with Dreamville, that's probably how I am with TDE. I want to say, yep. I listen to Scissors Project. I listen to J Rock, ASAP. Or ASAP, sure. Uh, Absol. I listen to Absol, J Rock, SZA. <clears throat> they just signed two new people. I don't think I listen to their project. But Schoolboy Q, uh, Kendrick, and Isaiah Rashad. So I'm always listening to those guys. I don't know why. I don't know why J Rock. He just. 
he's so, like he's just solid in my mind for like some reason. He's the one that mostly stands out to me in TDE. But because for some reason I was just I was just resign because <laughs> I was just in the car chilling, no music at all, just going to work. And then after work, I was just I was just in the car fucking just reciting the lyrics to Easy Bait by J Rock. You know <laughs> what we used to get lit to? Mm-hmm. I was I was just in the car back in this bitch, nigga. You know what's up. Stacking my dividends, like I was, I was. Alright, don't say too much for this. <laughs> yeah. Say this is a song. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm listening to. So yeah, a lot of Jadena. As far as TDE, I don't know. I don't know about him. You, you would get okay. kicked off this motherfucker. <laughs> okay, bro. Quit disrespecting. I listen to a lot of Jadena. He's a. He's dope. He's definitely a. He got a good mindset. I feel like if you if you black. And black Excellence, you should definitely listen to Jadena. Black Excellence. Uh, oh, I mean, I want to listen to him too. Shofu, he dropped a tape called uh, Trap Catch Him. That's fire. Because if you know who he is, he's a YouTuber who does a lot of Nintendo games and Pokemon and stuff like that. But he actually spits bars. Like his bar, his song went in- Anonymous. I think I've given him a shout out before on this. It's fire. I've honestly never heard of him. And he's pretty good. He's actually really good, and I actually listen to him quite a bit. I don't know about all that. And, yeah, so that's the one I listen to a lot. His tape, his last tape. I think he might even drop a new EP. That's pretty good, mm-hmm. too. And R.I.P. Little Peep. I mean... I, I don't know too much about Little Peep. I don't either. I just seen R.I.P. because, you know, you don't want to see no one die like that. Yeah. I just, But I hate how it's kind of like a... It's weird because there's two, there's two sides to this. From I've noticed from Twitter, and the uh, the two sides that I've noticed is like, uh, like one side is like a dub, like we told you, Zan's a bad, stop doing drugs, do that, that, and I understand that. But then there's another side saying like, like if people are going through stuff and depression and stuff at the same time, it's like. Yeah, I understand that. It's like basically like you can't get mad at how someone copes with stuff, but at the same time you gotta realize that you can't be popping Zans and Percocets and all this. You know what I mean? Like, so I, I don't know what's your take on that. I don't know, man. I, I feel like I feel like it's never a good idea for like rappers to glor. I never thought it was cool for rappers to glorify, you know, drugs and Zans and all that. Cause I don't. It, I like listening to shit that I can relate to, you know, like just on the drive to and from work, just at night, just thinking, chilling. Like, man, I'm not thinking about, you know, popping, <laughs> popping a Zan or, or taking taking pills or anything like that. Like, I, sure. it's, just, like it's just not something that I rock with and I don't relate to. So, like, I don't know. It, it's, I mean, I mean, I, it's something that I can get lit to. Like, I'll listen to that music to get lit to. Like, if I'm going to, if I'm going down on court or something like that, but. You know, as far as just like my whole demeanor, nah, I don't know. It's just I, I can't rock with it, honestly. But no, nah, I'm saying like, what do you think about like how some people? I know you're talking about the music side, but I'm talking about how they were talking about a little peep and how some people are like, like, duh, stop doing zans. Like, why are you trying to be a junkie anyway? You stupid. And then there's other people who are saying like, you don't know what someone's going through, and that's how people. Right cope with stuff so how do you feel like that do you think well I, like me personally i don't think you should be on drugs like that perk sense well, all that I, shit all well, the shit that people rap about i don't think you should be on drugs like well, that well you gotta take into effect into you know consideration that most rappers you know they come from they that that's their surroundings honestly you know? true you know they're we're a product of our environment so i mean you're gonna rap about the shit that like you see or what, what you do you know so i mean as far as like you know, that goes, then if people are telling you to stop doing something, then you should probably stop doing it. If a majority of people are telling you to stop doing drugs, then you probably should do it. I mean, just not for the sake of them saying, oh, they can't, you know, they're, they're telling me what to do, they really, this and that. It's just like, nigga, it's just your life, your safety. And especially, and like... Okay, like, you trying to be here for a long time, you know? And then, like, if you if you look at, like, Uzi's tweet, like, he said he stopped doing all the drugs just because of what happened to Lil Peep. And he said he was shaking after the first day. I'm like, bro, if you were shaking the first day you stopped, bro, that means your body was addicted to it. Like, 
your body was addicted to it. It was used to it. You know, that kind of reminds me of this little uh, fucking Lil Wayne. You see Lil Wayne be having seizures every... This, this man done had at least probably a good four or five seizures. No, he had four this year. within. I had four within the last two years. That is wild. And he's still drinking. Like, what the... F- and then, like, like, if you tell somebody enough shit, like, enough times, eventually you would think that it would register into your head that, you know, this shit ain't good for me. I should probably stop. And, I mean, yeah, he's popping now, and he, you know, the song's catchy, or whatever, whatever. And Ron, don't kill me. I, I doubt you're going to listen to this. But Little Pump, I seen a clip where dude literally looked like a walking zombie. Like, he, <laughs> like that's how drugged out he was. And I was like, that's not cool, man. I'm not trying to. Well, I'm not trying to. 17? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's crazy. I was not... Uh, I and I'm not trying to get on my rush stuff. Like, yeah. Yeah, I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm just saying it's like you got to realize what you're getting yourself into. Yeah, exactly. You can't be surprised when people pass. But I mean, R.I.P. is a little pump. A little peep, but still. Well, I also feel about the situation. I feel like sometimes, like, if you're going to... If you're going to rap about stuff like that, then some part of you has to live it. You know, like, if, mm-hmm. you're gonna, if you're going to rap about it. I mean, I, I'm not saying that there's not any artists out there that, you know, that may just talk about it, just talk about it. But, like, some are really actually out there living it. I just, just smoke weed, dude. Shit. I mean, and, I mean, it's it's good. I will say one of the, the best things about this whole situation, not, not little Peep's death, but the, one of the best things about the situation is how uh, artists are starting to handle it. You know how, like, when Jay-Z says... When you guys put money, phones up to your ear, we don't call that money over here. Most rappers felt offended, and then some of them actually started doing it even more. Just to, they, like, it's just, it, they just do it. So, but, like, with this, most rappers are having conversations. Most rappers are trying to stop. Most rappers are actually calling it out, saying, yeah, that is whack to be that high all the time, that drugged up all the time and all that stuff. So, I'm, I'm liking that conversation going on forward rather than... You know, doing the opposite. So that's cool. Yeah. yeah. I, I say shouts out to them mm-hmm. for that one. And uh, the gym. So Tyler switched gyms. I that's just started going back to the gym. Man, uh, I tell you what. I felt like... I don't know if it was, I felt like Kevin Durant going to, from Oklahoma City to Golden State. I was leaving... I was leaving a bad situation, you know. They, they they tried to put me in that sunken place for another year. And I was like, no, y'all ain't going to do this to me no more. So I'm going to leave. I'm going to get that canceled. I'm going to get that canceled for him. And I'm going to be out this bitch. And then... I then again, you did that to yourself. Yeah, I did. Honestly, I did. I was paying like $75 a month. <laughs> this trip. Then going to Smoothie King. Then going King. to Smoothie King. Then coming home. By the way, they just made a new Smoothie King out in Ankeny, which I'm... Look highly looking forward to. I mean, really? it's kind of yeah. I mean, when I think about it, you know, Ankeny West Glen, like it, it's kind of like. I mean, you still. I mean, I'm still wait. I'm still you know. I'm I'm still wasting gas, you know. But at the same time, you know, it's kind of the lesser of two evils when I think about that. True. But um yeah uh. Yeah, I switched gyms. I go to Anytime Fitness now. You can catch me at Anytime Fitness probably going into the early hours of 1 o'clock and probably anytime between 1 o'clock and 3 o'clock. I didn't leave that bitch the other night until like 4 o'clock in the morning because my dumb ass just won. Because I needed to get my uh, shit chart. But I needed to charge my phone. I ended up like falling asleep for a little bit. I looked at that shit. It said 150. I was like, oh shit. So I went to the gym, got my little workout going. Actually, it was, I mean, yeah, it was a little workout, but I'd just be bullshitting during, you know, the workouts, just being on, you know, social media and stuff like that. And I took my little shower, and then as soon as, like, I saw the saw the time, that shit said 4.09. I was like, yeah, let me get out of this joint. But, um, I personally, I like, I like Anytime Fitness better than any other gym that I've been to, because, first of all, it's the first gym that's really close to home for me. I mean, I live right down the street. I live, like, off of Southwest 9th, and, you know, so it's at least a good, probably not even, not even three minutes. It's probably, like, a minute 30 if I'm catching all green lights. Uh, let's see. 
I like that it's open 24 hours. I like that. I can go there anytime, leave anytime. But the thing about Anytime Fitness is, like, if you're going to go to that Pacific one on on MLK Parkway, uh, let's see, the they give you, like, this voucher, like, this ticket, because you know you have to have a ticket to punch in um, to open the gate. And then and when you get into the facility, they got this little voucher machine that lets you um, ticket, that lets you um, like ticket the the thing and make sure that okay, like you were here, you're part of Anytime Fitness, and um, that whole voucher is um, is good for at least a good probably two hours and thirty minutes, so you don't have to pay like the five dollars to go in and out every time. Well, actually, we'll go out pretty much, but yeah, I like that, because I'm not spending like, I probably spend probably no more than like an hour 30. So. I wanted you to talk about the gym, you talked about the process of the gym and switching gyms, like when you're actually at the gym. <laughs> Nigga, you didn't say that, you just, you just said, you just talked about gym, so that's why I did. I thought you would go into that, that's what most people would do, not they regiment for the gym. You just indicted yourself. So everybody was like, that's about 125. Yeah, that nigga had two watches on him. <laughs> yeah, hey, I'm the man. Let me holler at you real quick. No, I'm talking about at the gym. And I see me personally, I actually like going by myself. Like, because I know this. You like, don't. When I, but I'm saying, like, I see you with uh, Brian and uh, all of them. I, I can't mean, do I it. I meet them there. But... I can't do that. Because it's like, I feel like I don't work out as hard as I should. And yeah, I'm distracted. The distraction. Bro, you be at the gym. You be like, all right, I'm going to go to the gym for like one hour. Then you go to the gym, you come back, it's like two hours. You like, God, hey, I was just going to be there for an hour. Oh, you, got, you, like, you just in there, and then you get into a whole conversation with the boy. So, so, yeah, I was with such and such last night. You're like, damn, man. And, like, and then all of a sudden, like, you, you forgot what the fuck you was working on. Mm-hmm. So I, I get that. I like going to the gym by myself, too. Just me, a pair of headphones. Yeah, facts. That's how I do it. And I like getting in the sauna. I feel like that's my number one thing right now is just getting in the sauna. I don't know. I don't uh, have a sauna there. Yeah, uh, tanning. I'm tanning enough, so, you know. Mm. I ain't doing much with that. I love getting in the sauna because I feel like it helps. I, I feel like I got a lot of sinus problems. I probably sound like I do, too. But it just helps clear me, clear me up and all that stuff. And I, I like how I feel after. Like, after I feel like they're just, like, Demons are off me or something. I don't know. It just feel good. Yeah, true, true. And then I've been doing a lot of cardio. I, I try to do about five miles on the bike every time I get there. See, that's what I'm saying. Because, like, I don't... Like, I I just now started doing bike probably about a good two, three nights ago. Because first I was just running, like... But, I mean, that's good. It's I mean, actually... It's, good. it's better to run, but, I mean, running on a treadmill is actually worse for your knees. Yeah, so. it is. But, I'm already um, deteriorating as it is. Yeah, I'm starting to... You know, put the two together, and I usually do like fifteen minutes of cardio. Um, That's not bad. Because after fifteen minutes is a fat burning stage. So we need to get Cesar on here. Shout out to Cesar Aguilar. We're gonna have him on one of these podcasts to talk about nutrition and get our body right and stuff like that. Brian's just working on it. Uh, uh, I didn't say nothing, yeah. so don't don't put that out there. Yeah, we can get him on. That's not a problem. Uh, anything else to add? To this episode? Uh, I don't even know what to call this one. I really, yeah, but that could wait. Um, I have to. I honestly don't have anything else to, on my mind. Just be stay, just stay tuned for next week's episode. Honestly. Hopefully we have a guest. Yeah. I don't know who the guest will be. We got so many people lined up, it's ridiculous. Let's just wait on I got I got a couple texts from like people actually that saw me uh, put a Snapchat story. Stop doing that during the podcast. Because now it's like obligations. And people going to start hitting me up. That's Yo, with a podcast. No. How's that not? Because I got to edit it and do all that jazz. And upload it. Okay. Well, so just but it so puts much. pressure on. I don't like that. I like just. I like feeding the streets without them you. knowing it. I feel you. I feel you. That's so, that's your problem. You be Snapchatting everything. <laughs> Tyler, Tyler, that one friend is like, all right. Nobody snap it. My girl don't know I'm out. <laughs> you got the camera right in your face. Oh, you lit as shit, huh? You drunk as shit, huh? I had that. I had that happen to me a couple times. Where like I, I was, I was texting. I'm not, I'm not gonna drop names, but I was texting this one dude, 
Why are you ruining something for a dip with me? I gotta tell you. I, I can't tell you the name. I'll tell you the name after. I'll tell you the name after. I told no. one dip. Press the issue. Press the issue right no, now. No, I'll tell you the name after, but I told one dip. I was like, nah, I ain't doing nothing. I'm chilling. And I think that was one of the nights I went out with you. So she's <laughs> like, so you was chilling on Tyler Snap. I'm just like, <laughs> Tyler, bro, you don't oh, snap everything. Oh my god, but yeah, that happened to me a couple of times where I was just That's like, what you get, because you snap yeah, everything. Yeah, it, it's karma, though, because I'd be like, man, I'm going to bed goodnight. I like, remember. Okay, I'll talk to you in the morning. And then, next thing I knew, I was, <laughs> I found myself at probably, it was either Jokers or Tonic, one of the two, and then she going to text me and be like, mm. <laughs> like I was like, what, ha- what happened to going to bed, huh? I was like, Ugh. Uh, you lucky this ain't, uh, I don't know when Snapchat came out, maybe two years ago. You lucky that wasn't Tyler on Snapchat two years ago. Because Tyler on Snapchat. I used two, to show my whole ass. Tyler on Snapchat two years ago used to take pictures with other dips on Snapchat and be on the story. And everybody be like, Ooh, this. who that? <laughs> oh, yeah, I keep it PG now. Like, if, uh, I, I, make sure <clears throat> I, t- I keep it PG now more than I used to. More than I used to. You call that PG? Yeah, I call it PG. <laughs> I can tell you what who Tyler hanging out with, what he doing, what they doing, doing every time. But you don't see me there. You don't see it. It could be another nigga holding on the doing the story. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not I hear you laughing. You okay, always well, laugh. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. But but, <laughs> but, 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 but. <laughs> you do your laugh, and then it's like you like put the whole camera in somebody's face, and then like dance for me, monkey, like. <laughs> But yeah, I ain't shit. Sometimes. So I'm, I'm, I'm not saying. Oh, I'm still working on it. I'm still working. I'm not on it. saying you can't go out with Tyler. I'm just saying if you told your significant other that you're not going out and you with Tyler, you fucked up. Well, I guess if, 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 as long as you don't, you don't have Tyler on Snapchat, so don't add Tyler on Snapchat when he puts his gimmick up there. Gonna, oh my god, how you, <laughs> you gonna tell people don't add Tyler on Snapchat? Like, oh, if they got significant other, then they tell them they're not going out, but then they end up going out. Huh? You just you still just fucked it up for me though. Like, <laughs> like I, I was worried about all that. Like, come on now. I, I mean, add him at your own risk. Come on, man. Oh, add him at your own risk. All right, yeah, Tyler. Dips, you know, just know that you know. Oh, dips, plural. <laughs> well, all right. See, see, this is not. He be digging. Keep digging your grave, nigga. Keep digging your grave. <laughs> oh shit. Let me stop talking. But yeah, this was a good ass episode. This was a very vibe chill episode where we could just rant about music, clothing. All right. Oh wait, I guess. Hold on. You're supposed to pass it to me because you opened it. I guess I'm supposed to close it out. Right? Or I'm supposed to. Yeah, you want to close it out? You can. Well, no, I'm supposed to do my gimmick and then pass it to you. Then you close out the show. Well, then do it. Because yeah, I realized that. I just realized that. Uh. Motherfucker, do it. Hopefully. Shout out to Joe Monday. Helpful, he's back in town next tomorrow, so we can do commentary. I got new internet. I haven't been able to do any commentary yet. Kind of salty about that, and I want to do that. So shout out to him. So if we do commentary, uh, Twitch.tv slash Prince Be Here Two or Twitch.tv slash Reddit Fighting for Street Fighter Five tournaments. I do commentary and all that jazz. Uh, follow me on Twitter uh, underscore. Prince Heard I I follow the Instagram underscore be heard I I and yeah I don't get my my Snapchat like I do but like I, I don't like giving it up on the podcast so I pass it to Tyler wrap this one up wrap this up about what the oh cold? no I'm just chilling <laughs> like <laughs> oh my god but uh, I gotta look up I gotta look up let's see y'all y'all already know that I I when it comes to you know putting my shit out there. I got to look it up because fucking I, I don't be going off the top of my head. Follow me on Instagram on TTL underscore O2 or you just type in Tyler Libra, either one. You know, just find me. See all my latest photos that I'd be taking every other year or every six months. It seems like I don't use my Instagram that much. I use it. I think probably, honestly, I probably just use my Instagram to creep. And uh, I think that's about it. And just like photos. That's about it. I mean, every blue moon, you'll, you might get maybe a selfie or something. I'm looking right, actually. I've been looking right. I'm getting in the gym. You know, beard lined up. Beard been lined up since eighth grade. I'm saying, but you don't even line it up. Dirt back. I'm hating. I'm the Vegeta hating on his beard. You're damn right I am. Like, 
like this nigga Brian can't get a break with. Like it's growing, bro. Chill out. Just finish the episode. <laughs> but That's anyway, good. yeah. Follow me on Instagram and then follow me on Twitter, Tyler the Libra. Uh, I think it's Tyler Dose. <laughs> <It's like some>, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I uh, be known. But um, then Snapchat T dash X X X. I'm a porn star, and uh, this man out of control. <laughs> but yeah, add me on all those social medias. I would love to add you back, and I add anyone honestly. Like, I, I don't discriminate. If you want to see what what I do with my life every day, well, at least every two days, because it feels like I put something on every two days. I can tell you what Snapchat's gonna be. It's gonna be some real, real New York rap. But it's just the road on his snap. It's either gonna be real New York rap. It's gonna be some fire. I'm sorry, I ain't gonna lie. He do be, you know, he be put, if he would put the info on the song, it is fire. I'm not I'm gonna, gonna start lie. Doing that, so. I'm not gonna lie. Anybody wanna you know mess with me? Like anytime you see me on the road, you be like. But hey, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But he like record that as he's driving. It's gonna either be him in the gym. Or it's gonna be some other nigga's face at a, some some function, just up close, <laughs> just looking at the nigga laughing. That'd be a dip too, you know. <laughs> every once in a while. You sure, you want to do that, big fella? You sure you want to indict yourself, big fella? You <laughs> sure. You know they all could be listening to this. Y'all can listen. You know. Nah, that, you see, I, like, I meant all like as in all dips, as in, as in, as in who? <laughs> Oh, no, no, let's present you as a who. Who, who, really, who really worried about Tyler like that? If they are, let me know. And then you can discuss it in my DMs or text message, text me if you got Look my at pimp pimping. I yeah. never see a pimp pimp more pimping than pimping. <laughs> He's still pimping. But, yeah, I mean, you know, that just goes with the territory. You know, anytime, like, Anytime I got you on my Snapchat or anything. Goes with the Snapchat. territory. Are you talking about the dips now or are you just talking about your Snapchat? That was my Snapchat, yo. Okay. Uh, but yeah, just know that, you know, if I rock with you and I fuck with you and you good people and you got vibes to you, just know that you're going to be on my Snapchat, whether it's a dip or friends, you know, they're going to start actually, you know. And we're going to be asking for it. Like, what? <laughs> be like, your Snapchat. I know, it's just come. You know, it's like, it's like a gift. A gift from the Libra. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. But anyway, nigga. But yeah, hold us accountable though this week, cause we I do want to get three. We haven't, we never had three before. I want to get three. So hold us accountable. Just wait on it. Just wait on it. I don't know what that means, but yeah, hold us accountable. So tweet at us and make sure we do the third podcast, third podcast in a row that this week. All right, y'all. Bye.